we are seeing a nice green day in the crypto world after a really long time but i am here to tell you that this is not going to last very long hence watch this video till the end so that you guys make the best trading decisions in the next coming couple of days hey guys welcome back to the show i'm your host rahul with another update about bitcoin and the entire crypto world right now so the most common question i was getting today is whether bitcoin is going to pump further up to 43k or even 46k because you know we are above that 40000 level which is a very important psychological level that 40000 mark but right now i am seeing some barriers in the next coming couple of days that is going to again pull us below that 40000 zone which is not going to look very good so remember nothing's going to be financial advice and let's not waste more time and jump into today's bitcoin analysis first thing first right now bitcoin is purely working on psychology if you did see my last update that was 22 hours ago i clearly told you guys to start buying the dip okay and i told you guys to understand the market psychology because when we were at around 39000 yesterday and day before a lot of short positions were open and that is when the whales jumped in and pumped up bitcoin around three percent to our next major level of resistance that was exactly at around forty one thousand five hundred and liquidated all those traders because all those people had opened open short positions at these areas had their stop losses at the next major resistance so that is how the psychology works if you are a seasoned trader if you are in this space for a very long time this keeps happening and the only people who lose from this are beginners and the new traders who don't understand this entire scenario the same thing happened last week when bitcoin was at 46k and the entire world was bullish people thought we are going to 50k and then the whales jumped in and you know dumped the markets and put us into a nice bear trap so the earlier you understand this whole market psychology the lesser amount of money you lose and the more profits you'll make so stick till the end of this video i have some more important uh, updates for you guys so looking at the crypto bubbles you can see that we are in a nice good balance of green uh, all the altcoins are up good five six percent definitely not overbought we are having a nice balanced recovery from <clears throat> the main dump that we saw in the past couple of days apart from that some major reasons why i feel we are going to uh, go lower in the next 12 hours is the good friday okay so tomorrow is the good friday and <clears throat> Uh, it is going to be a day when the stock markets are going to be closed in the US and also people are not going to trade okay a lot of the major population of uh, you know western countries are going to celebrate it and nobody is going to trade so volumes are definitely going to die if you if you currently do look at volumes <clears throat> if i go into shorter time frames let's go into the 30 minute time frame you can see after our major spike over here that took us all the way up till 41500 volumes are literally dying like you can see how how the it, it's like a big chunk of volumes like almost 80 percent down from these uh, big levels are the current volume so this is right now without the weekend even approaching so once the weekend approaches combined with the good friday that is a holiday with the weekend volumes are gonna die so that is one main reason why uh, tomorrow uh, it's not going to happen right now especially because we are 12 hours ahead from uh, the us hence uh, it is going to start reflecting somewhere tomorrow maybe somewhere tomorrow afternoon so if you guys are still in a good amount of a profit i definitely feel that you guys should start taking little profits um, i definitely feel that there is a nice chance that we might see one more small pump to around 41500 but then you know that's so negligible like um, if Bitcoin pumps another $500, uh, you are just going to come out with another maybe 1% or a 2% profit. So you guys need to decide your risk to reward ratio accordingly and take some amounts of profits. <coughs> Apart from that, if you do look at this announcement, so you all know <coughs> about the CPI data. But apart from that, there is another important index called the PPI index, which is the producer price index so that was announced yesterday which came out to be around 11.2 percent which is extremely high and a double digit but this is not very popular again everything runs on news we all know that even the cpi inflation data is a double digit but it's at the end of the day just word of mouth and what people think okay you believe in something it is true so everyone believes it is 8.5 percent the fed said it was 8.5 percent and that is why the markets did not tank 
but this data is definitely true but you know this entire ppi index is not very popular but this is definitely going to uh, you know reflect in the major decision making on the may 4th which is the next fomc meeting so this is a very big red flag and you know uh, big traders all big players are definitely going to start taking uh, you know profits start making decisions based on this uh, number so these are some important factors and things happening right now again the major thing i want to clearly tell you guys is the weekend is approaching even if the good friday was in there the weekends have very low volumes because traders don't trade and i keep telling you uh, i keep telling you guys this in all my videos but since the good friday is right now on a weekend that is going to add to this entire you know uh, low volume uh, uh, friday saturday and sunday and i definitely feel that we are going to uh, somewhat get back into this accumulation zone so uh, that would be a good opportunity opportunity to buy in again apart from that if you did watch my last video i clearly told you guys that buy only in an extreme fear zone okay because if you do buy in an extreme fear zone it is almost sure that you're not going to lose money and you're definitely going to make some amount of money that is why exactly yesterday when we were in that extreme fear zone i told you guys to start buying some amount of altcoins and right now we are in a fear zone almost up around five percent so you guys would have already made a good profit but right Right now, I definitely never buy in a fear zone. I only buy when I see the market somewhere below uh, 25, that is around extreme fear. And even more than that, around 15 to 25 is an ideal range to get in. So keep watching the fear index if you are not into uh, major chart analysis and uh, you guys are good to go from there. So if you guys have more doubts, queries, please put it down in the comment box. Again, the major accumulation for me is somewhere between 38,000 to uh, 40,000. And if we again do keep breaking this level, if today's candle does close below 40,000 and if tomorrow's candle does close below our next major support level, that is 39,000, we are definitely going to go down and bounce at a 38,000 level, which is highly possible and also healthy because if you do look at at what was happening in the past uh, entire price action when we were in this zone for the past couple of months since almost January ever since Bitcoin went up to these levels okay this may these major high uh, resistance levels at 44,000 at uh, 45,000 you know all these levels we have come down and hit this major supply and demand zone you can see the volumes at these areas whenever Bitcoin was at 38,000 is extremely high which makes it a very important supply and demand zone so unless we come down there once again i definitely don't feel bitcoin is going to you know see those 46 50,000 levels hence 38,000 should be your major area to buy into the market so that's bitcoin in a nutshell right now if you guys have more doubts queries please put it down in that comment box for me remember we are in the road to 2000 subscribers so please do consider joining the channel and i will see you all in the next video bye